what's going on guys thanks for checking in it's Ryan once again today's video you're gonna get a look into some of my shoulder training that I do about once a week Now I don't hit shoulders twice a week like I do everything else I do hit them at least once a week just due to the fact that shoulders are pulled in with your pressing and pulling movements you know with your back and with your chest when you train those or even when you train biceps and triceps you know shoulders are gonna be involved in a lot of those movements even though you may be trying to avoid using your shoulders in a lot of movements it's just through the function of your shoulders they get used quite a bit so what you guys are going to be seeing here is I started out with some seated barbell presses really making sure that tension is on that muscle group through the full range of motion after finishing up with some of the barbell presses I moved on to a seated machine press which you'll see I'm flipped around in the other direction and this puts a little bit more focus on the rear delts some people say I'm not moving the weight in a full range of motion, which when I'm doing this press, I am going through a full range of movement for that particular muscle group. So for my front delts and for my rear delts here, I'm feeling the tension all the way through from the bottom movement to the top of the movement. Never am I allowing for tension to be released from that muscle group. So going all the way up is going to take out from the deltoid being used and things like your triceps are going to start being involved a little bit more so that's where when I say full range of movement I always mean for that muscle group so after the seated presses we moved on to some side lateral raises which with side lateral raises is one thing I think there always needs to be a good genuine focus just due to the fact that momentum can be used incorrectly and form is, is used incorrectly so always making sure your shoulders are high you're not swinging the weight and using the weight's momentum to your advantage. So I think I was only using like 30s or 35s here, but making sure those elbows are high and the tension is on the side laterals. I think this is one of the most beneficial shoulder movements first lateral deltoid. And I I hopped onto this machine after I hit dumbbell side laterals. This allows for me to kind of work on that range of motion a little more so that dumbbells don't hit. Um, it, regardless of what I do, I always change up the speed of my reps, the number of reps, and how I control those reps. So you guys will see there's a little bit more focus on the negative portion and controlling that very slowly on the way back down. That's just helping me put more stress on those delts and just helping me overload a little bit more. What I finished with is a variation of a rear delt exercise. I do when I do these I do bend over but something I've done is I put my head on uh, some sort of, of bench or something make sure something's on your forehead I don't you won't be laying your head all over the nasty gym but I think this allows for a better co uh, concentration on the rear delt the movement you can see um, using the range of motion for that the rear delt specifically so give these a shot I think you guys will like these that's gonna wrap things up for today's shoulder training as always, guys, I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch. If you have any questions or comments, just drop those down below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Check out the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I appreciate you guys as always. You take care. We'll talk to you again soon.